Hey guys, I am here with Teddy. Teddy is a giant Bernadoodle and he was just dropped off by his owner for training and we are going to start right away by introducing him to the prong collar. So I wanted to show you how we're going to introduce him to this great communication tool. The prong collar is the tool that I start all dogs on in teaching them proper leash communication. So the majority of dogs on a flat collar, on a harness, any of those types of things, they're gonna pull. And they learn that the leash is more like a tether or a restraint and it's something to be pulled against. So we have to retrain the dog in how to follow the leash softly rather than pulling against it. So that's what we need to do with our prong collar work um, when I talk about teaching them correct leash communication. Once they understand how to follow the leash and be guided by it, then we're going to take our e-collar and layer it over the top of that great foundation. So Teddy is going to be wearing a Herm Springer 3.0 millimeter prong collar and that refers to the leg length. So he is going to be wearing this size because he has quite thick long hair and he's also a bigger dog. So the other size prong collar that we use by Herm Springer is the 2.25, which has a shorter leg length and it's intended for dogs that have um, much shorter, thinner hair. So there's less hair to get through. So when we fit the prong collar, we want the prong collar to be comfortably snug, fitted right behind the dog's ears. So it shouldn't be so big that it can slide down the dog's neck. Um, we certainly don't want it sitting down at the base of the neck because then it becomes very easy for the dog to go back to pulling on it and you also lose your ability to communicate as well with the dog as you can when it's behind the ears. So this tool is designed for very light, soft, um, gentle communication when we're using it um, after training. It's basically going to be our steering wheel and our e-collar is going to be like our gas and brakes when we need to add motivation or reduce motivation. The way that you put the prong collar on is you can open it up between the links by squeezing the legs as you push down on the opposing link. Same thing when you put it back together. You can also um, undo it here at the plate. Come here Teddy. Um, by squeezing the legs together as you push down on the plate and then the opposite to put it back together. Just squeeze the legs together and drop them into the holes. I find that a little bit harder because you have to squeeze the legs closer together, um, but between the links is pretty, pretty straightforward. It's definitely more of a technique um, than it is about, you know, having super strong hands. So when I fit the prong collar on the dog, come on Teddy. I'm gonna put it on directly behind the, 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 the dog's ears at the top. I've already sized and fitted this one for Teddy. Um, I have a backup carabiner on my leash clip and I'm going to attach my backup carabiner that's on the dead ring of the prong collar. I'm gonna attach that to Teddy's flat collar. So I like to have all these um, backups on my prong collar so that no matter what happens, I'll always be attached to the dog. So if you were to um, put the prong collar on a dog and not get the links quite together and it popped off, I'll just show you what that would look like. If it popped off, because we have backed it up, you're still attached to the dog by your backup carabiner. Come here, Mr. Teddy. So safety is always our first concern, making sure that the dog is safe um, and that we have backups on everything so that no matter what happens, if we had a leash clip fail, if maybe one of the links failed, we would still be connected to the dog by his um, backup to the flat buckle collar. Let's go, Teddy. introduce Teddy to the prong collar, what I'm going to do is just a series of very simple, slow, low-key turns. So I'm going to move you guys over here so you can see a little bit better. So what I'm going to do to introduce Teddy to the prong collar is just a couple of very low-key, 
slow turns. So I'm gonna start walking. I'm gonna let Teddy, um, you know, follow beside me. He's probably either gonna veer off or he's gonna pass me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop walking and hold the leash until he turns and comes back to me. Then I'm gonna relax the leash and mark that with good. Um, give him the feedback that that's what I'm looking for. So it's super non-eventful, but it's a really important step in teaching the dog that pulling isn't gonna get him what he wants, it's not gonna get him anywhere, but following um, the handler and moving softly toward the leash pressure will. Let's go, Teddy.